So in photo editing, there is a pretty much really desired effect that a lot of people like that a lot of people, a lot of you guys might not know how to do, but it is so, so simple. And I can show you two different ways of how to achieve this effect. And just as the title says, it is matte photo effect. So you're going to get that dull. You're going to get that really kind of vintagey type of look, but it can really help a photo. So why not check it out? Here's how simple it is. Let's do this. So we're going to jump right into this. As I said, I'm going to show you two different ways and how easy this is and how much it can really, um, you know, kind of just change your style up a little bit. Something new you can try. You might actually like it. Uh, to me, I like more of contrast. Um, uh, that's just how it is. I like contrast, especially with my black and whites. Now, I'm, but uh, here's the effect because I think it can work, you know, in some really cool ways. There's a lot of creative people out there that want to learn this and this can really work, like I said. So here we go. This is a shot Adam Lerner actually uh, took of me. Uh, a little while ago and I thought it looked great because it's punchy it's contrasty but with black and white you can really do this matte effect uh, pretty easily so let's just dive right into it I'm using Adobe uh, Photoshop CC uh, as you can tell uh, yeah I've already ranted about that so let's just drive right into it. So basically, you want to do a new layer. I do non-destructive editing, meaning I don't just edit on the same, uh, you know, layer every single time. So I like to do some. I like to uh, do it in layers, so non-destructive. So I'm going to create a new layer. That's going to bring that up. Um, if I was doing a lot more, I would name this, uh, you know, something like Mad Effect or something like that. But I'm not really doing much. So I'm making sure I'm on that. So for this one, we are going to go onto our uh, our curves layer. So we're going to pop that out. I'm going to drag that over here. And as I said, this is extremely simple to do. A lot of people get intimidated when they're like, oh my gosh, I don't know what I'm looking at. Well, basically, there are two key points on um, uh, on your curves. But the one we're going to really worry about is um, the one at the uh, far left, so down here. And in the middle, uh, typically, there could be a point here at times, uh, but we'll, uh, we'll do that. And all you literally have to do is drag this left corner up until you get the desired effect you want. Now you see how it's kind of flattening it a little bit? That's the matte effect. Uh, once again, there's the punchiness. As you just go up, you get the desired effect that you want. So to me, this is something kind of cool. You know, there's where it was. But, you know, some here, that's kind of cool as well. But to give it a nice little touch, a nice little something else, I always like to go down the middle and move it just a little bit. Now, bring it does bring back a little bit. Let's go see it go stream. It does bring back con bring back contrast, but not in a in a you know in the full way. It still keeps the effect. It still gives it something different. So something like that, I think it's kind of cool. You get that matte. You know, you get this printed. It's gonna look awesome. Now, once again, I'll show you. You know, down here, that's where it's at. So, you know, somewhere around there. So it is something slight. It is something very, very simple. Now, a lot of you guys might be like, okay, well, that's good. Well, how about with a, um, you know, a colored photograph? Okay, fine. So let's open that up in here as well. So that's going to open up. So let's do the same exact thing, but I'm going to teach you another way to do it. It's, uh, it's really pick your poison. I like the curves layer uh, the best. But as I said, it is very, very simple. So in here, we got a nice little headshot right here. Um, so this one, we are going to go into our levels layer. Once again, I like to do non-destructive. So let's create a new layer, which is this button all down here. Make sure we're, uh, you know, in here. And let's bring up our levels layer. So I'm going to just move this out of the way. And once again, this can look really intimidating, but it is not. It's extremely easy. Uh, you really want to focus on the bottom graph right here. Uh, and typically you want to start, I'll move this over here so that way we can see it. And typically you want to start on the right side and push it towards the center until you kind of get the look that you kind of want. Now it's going to look kind of different, so let's try this. But as you see, this is going to flatten it a little bit. See what it's doing right here? How it's just flattening the image, you know, just a little bit. All right, so say if, you know, that's where it started. Say if you kind of want to go with something like this, you know, a nice little vintagey feel. But if you feel like you did lose a little bit too much contrast, you could take the left arrow right here and you can just kind of slide that and you can get it back. Uh, you know, if you feel like, okay, that looks good, but you can keep punching that in. You see, it's really doing kind of the overall hue, but this one is doing a little bit less in regards to uh, destructiveness. So it's very, very simple. I think you do get a little bit of a better image using the. Um, uh, the curves, the curves way, I feel like this does flatten it a little too much, but matte affecting, it is extremely simple and can be extremely an effective tool for you guys. So 
you know, there's probably other ways to do it as well. I like the curves layer, uh, the curves method right here. But if you guys have any questions or comments, please write that down below. If you want to see more Photoshop kind of videos, because it looks like I'm going to be stuck with Adobe Photoshop CC. So if you guys want to do more, you know, like tutorials or anything like that on something specific, um, let me know. I will definitely do them. You, I know you guys asked for this on my uh, 5K giveaway video. You know, do a little bit more Photoshop, more editing kind of things. And I really kind of like these, uh, these really kind of quick, easy videos as well. So let me know eric rossi the guy with the eye and once again i'm probably doing another giveaway for a week or two this is july 17th right now um and it's for hitting 5,000 subscribers i'm actually about to hit 6,000. it's been an insane month so thank you all again so check out that video i will post that down below in the description if you want to enter that please feel free and go ahead so as always eric rossi the guy with the eye take it easy matter of fact is so simple